Hey everybody, and welcome to episode number three. If you listened in episode number one, you know that my voice was kind of a wreck. In fact, last week from like Wednesday to Saturday, I had no voice, like only a whisper. And as much as I could tell you it was devastating to me, I, I got to tell you, I think that I think that Meredith kind of enjoyed it. <laughs> she got a nice little break, and um, I'm, I'm not completely healed yet. I'm still fighting it. But as we as as I record this now, I'm sitting in a hotel room in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Um, I'm out here doing some um, sales training and some speaking for uh, for an organization um, and a, and actually a good friend out here. Um, but as I'm as I'm sitting here trying to catch up on a little bit of work because of how much I missed last week, you know I I can't help but think about this one thing that that kept happening to me as I lost my voice, and it wasn't like I lost my voice like it was scratchy. It was like I lost my voice to the point that I could not speak, meaning all I had was like a low whisper for like 36 hours, and. Uh, I had a lot of honey and a lot of lemon and a lot of tea, and I still had to go to work because I still had stuff to do, right? And 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 even though I couldn't talk, I still had to show up and make sure that things were going the way they were supposed to go and the way that I had promised, um, actually, that they would go to, to a couple of clients. And so as I was out and about, I found myself stopping like at every time I saw a Starbucks or a, or a coffee shop or a place that I could get tea. And something interesting happened every single time. As I'd walk in, because I couldn't speak, I would um, wait for them to look at me and ask me what my order was. And I would sort of lean in close so that they could hear me. And I would whisper. And I would whisper, whisper my order. And every time that I would whisper, whisper my order, something almost funny would happen, which is that they would always whisper back. <laughs> and, and I found it to be really sort of odd at first, but then I started to think about what impact the way I show up really has. And it was incredible that, that I, I found that when I whispered to them, they whispered to me. And then I started thinking, well, gosh, you know, when I go in and I'm happy or kind or I smile, people tend to be happy and kind and they tend to smile back. And when I when I show up with a bad attitude or or a frown or um, or not particularly like friendly, that typically gets reciprocated to me. And it made me really stop and think about the presence that I chose to have as I went into the world, as I, as I showed up in different places, and which version of myself would it be the version of myself that causes other people, that influences other people's behavior in a positive way, or was I going to show up in a way that influenced people in a negative way? And losing my voice really gave me the opportunity. And like I said, I'm not completely back. You may you may hear some of this um, sort of raspiness that I'm still dealing with. But the real truth is, is that that happens, right? When we show up a certain way, people react, people respond. And we forget how much impact we actually have on the world around us and how we 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 inform other people based on the way we show up of how they should be or how they can be around us. You know, I think that a lot of times there's really two different types of people in the world. There's the people that brighten the room when they come into it and they make things better and they make things more engaging and it's it's more fun and more gets done. And those are really the people we want to be around. Then there's another type of person. For every, it seems like anyway, for every person that brightens the room when they come into it, there seems to be just as many people that brighten the room when they leave it. (laughs) And I try awfully hard not to be that type of person, and sometimes I fail at that. 
sometimes I'm not very good at it. And sometimes I do um, push the sunshine out of the room with my negative presence. But the truth is, and here's the point of this entire episode. The point of this entire episode is that you get to choose. I get to choose. And one thing I learned, and you know, we talked a lot about mentorship. This this whole podcast is dedicated to mentorship. And my thesis on mentorship is that we can learn and develop from everyone and everything around us. And we don't have to wait. We don't have to wait for the wisest person in the county to sit down and have coffee with us to be able to learn something and to be able to take something away that we can use for our good and to use so that we can make something good for someone else and for other people that we encounter. And so one of the things I learned, one of the things that my circumstance last week, as much as it just was just the worst to lose my voice, because I learned last week that I don't have a lot of transferable skills if I don't have a voice. Like, to give you an example, 100%, almost, almost, not 100, 95% of everything I do comes from my voice, meaning every email I send is voice to text on my Mac or on my cell phone. Um, All of my coaching calls obviously are in voice. Most of my meetings are in person. All of my keynotes use my voice. All of my training uses my voice. All of my sales uses my voice. My marketing uses my voice. And so if I don't have my voice, I'm really missing a lot of stuff. And as tough as that was, and as far behind, as as far as that set me back last week, what it reminded me of, it gave me an opportunity to see just how my presence impacts the world around me. And I think that's true with you as well. It's true with all of us, that the way we choose to show up in the world impacts and informs the world and the people in the world of how to be. So if we show up with a smile, if we show up happy, if we show up with a bright presence, then we get brightness in return. We get kindness in return. And if we show up sucking the life out of the world around us, then the same thing gets reciprocated. So the challenge that I give you and the challenge, honestly, that I give myself is to continue to consider how your presence impacts the world around you. And I believe if we do that, we will find that we get better reactions, better responses, and significantly more opportunity, more happiness, and overall, less stress. So thank you for being a part of this community. Thank you for listening and subscribing to this podcast. Please feel free to share it. Um, Check out the description for opportunities to attend um, one of the upcoming Dale Carnegie programs that I'll be coaching. And if there's anything I can do for you, feel free to connect down on one of the social media links below. Thank you for being here and we will see you next week.